that because we can get water from the honey sack. Yeah. Honey sack iko na maji, maji haina honey sack. I don't know. I mean I, I, why why are <laughs> you confusing? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Help me answer that question at uh, the Trend Life with the hashtag here, Amina, and you tell Osoro which one is more important. Which one is more important? Anyway, um, uh, so right now we've got to say hello to my guest in studio. Now, Dogtober is an annual event that takes place just one, one, one day. And I feel like there should be more days in the year that they celebrate this. But it is an annual event for you who's a dog lover, for your family and your friends. If you're all about pups, and you love, you know, just all breeds of dogs and you know how therapeutic they are and you want to just take a day out and go and just hang out with them, this is the event for you. And we just happen to have, okay, some pups in the studio today ahead of October. We have the uh, founders with us in the studio. They'll be telling us more. And I feel like at this point, I should just hand over. Who am I handing it over to, though? Is it? Okay. Okay. So why don't we, okay, fine. So you guys, take it away. Take it away. Let me just say, take it away. Okay. Let me start. We left Jack Russell. So we can start the small puppy here to introduce it. Start as well, our small puppy here. It's a Jack Russell, three months. Mm -hmm. We can just get you a microphone real quick. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. So? So, uh, this is a Jack Russell. It's only three months old. Why is it not turning? We want to see you. We want to see you. Mm -hmm. So that's Star. Hey, I'm making beer. When you have to offset, <laughs> the owner is off the set. He's like, what are you guys doing? I mean, I'm still saying when you're like, I'm going to keep it. No, we're going to keep it. I think I'm... Yeah. Okay. Uh, my name's uh, Karori Mogoi. This is my. I have a speaker. Yeah, I have a mic. This is my dog uh, Tinga. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate to you something small. Uh, he's a well-trained dog, five years old, uh, German Shepherd uh, Sable. Tinga Kola. Wow, oh, that's boy. fast. Down. Sit. Down. Weave, 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 down. Here, sit. Good boy. Down. Puss. Good boy. Puss. Down. Stand. To here. No. Caught. Leave it. Leave. Tinga, leave. Good. Sit. Good boy. Tulia. Freedom. Good boy. Good boy. Tinga, come. Here, come. Sit. Good boy. Leave. Down. Down. Leave it. Leave. Down. Down. Here, push. <coughs> Sit. Mark. Push. Mark. Go. Kaju. Ju. 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 Good boy. Come, sit. Stand. Good boy. Down. Good. Sit. Lovely boy. Yes. Good boy. House, leave it. No, leave. Rivia. Down. 
Sit. Rivia. Good boy. With. 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 Down. That is finger for you. Come. Down. Quiet. Okay, thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, Tinga understands Swahili as well. Oh, we have Tinga here. We have Tinga who also works. <laughs> <laughs> we have Tinga who works. Kizungu ni chache. Kizungu yake chache. Tinga, we are not going to say it. We are not going to say it. Yes, where is Tinga? Tinga is not going to say it. <laughs> Tinga. Tinga, Tinga we need to see you as well. Okay, so we have not yet um, had a chance to to see what it is that yours can do. Right, Mugo? Uh, we have it? This one is not trained. Oh, she's, uh, okay. She's just a party. She's just here. She's just for socialize. vibes. <laughs> vibes and inshallah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Tinga is the one with the tricks. Yeah. He is so attentive. Look at him just watching waiting for any message from um, from the owner. Okay, so let's introduce one another. Mm -hmm. Hi, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm Roy Oliver uh, from Royal Pets. I'm here to promote uh, Dr. Buffett. Mm -hmm. He's uh, Varava. Varava. Yeah, Varava. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Varava. Huh? More of Barnabas. <laughs> <laughs> Varava. Va Varava. Mm -hmm. Varava. Varava. What does yeah. it mean? It's a R Russian name. Mm -hmm. It means love. Love. But it's native, native. Okay. Yeah. I like that. And then we've met Tinga, and we, that's Star. star. Yes. Um, and then Mugo. So this is Zena. She's a Caucasian shepherd or Russian mountain dog, and she's six months. So now, even today, one of the reasons we came with her is because uh, she's a puppy, and we wanted to socialize her for her to know more people and to become. Because she's also going to participate. She's a registered dog, so she's going to participate in competitions. Mm -hmm. So it needs to start early socialization. Yes. Uh, so yeah, okay. she's very calm. She's happy to be here, and we're also very happy to be here. And we are, of course, with uh, Hot Paws and uh, partners with uh, Doctor Buffest. Mm. Uh, All right. So we have Amu. We have Sylvia. I should have let you guys introduce yourselves. So maybe you can tell us. <laughs> you can tell us what it is that you do as far as Doctor Doctor Buffest is concerned. Um, my name is Sylvia Mati. I'm the CEO of Sulski Events, which is the mother of Doctor Fest. Um, this year we are doing the ninth edition. Uh, we started this in 2014, and yes, our ninth edition is scheduled for 8th of October at the Waterfront Karen. Yeah. Karibuni. Um, how did this come about? Were you just... Because I know there's one internationally. Um, was that the inspo? Was it you and your boys? You were chilling. You were like, We need to have a gig for our dogs. That's not how you talk, Roy. I don't know why. I don't know why that was. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, the inspiration came from um, basically the outside, what is happening outside. So, outside there's a festival as well called October Fest. So, we basically adapted that. But it started way back when uh, Sylvia. A uh, couple of other friends, uh, we just decided to have picnics, actually. So it started off as picnics, people getting to know about, you know, just gathering up, socializing, uh, doing walks and stuff like that. So that's how it started. Just a basic picnic, we grew numbers, then we were like, okay, I think this can be something, you know. And we were like... There is a need for people to actually come mm. and uh, socialize their dogs, have fun. And you know, dogs also get actually depressed because most of the time they, they are kept at home. They are rather at home. But you see, when you get them out, they also come out and have fun. They get to relieve themselves. And you also get to relieve yourself as well when yeah. you're with your dog. Yes. Yeah, so that's yeah. how it came about. And it's grown ever since. Now, it's not only just about dogs and puppies, but you also do talk about um, general animal welfare. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. yeah. And the well-being and, you know, just better treatment of animals all across the board. Uh, yes. Mm. Do we do have a microphone? Oh, okay, great. Uh -huh. uh, yes, we do. Uh, the concept started small, but as we grew, we understood that there's need to educate Kenyans. Mm. They need to understand how do we take care of our dogs? How do you take care of the environment? 
So there's a bigger concept to it. Other than the dogs, the humane way we treat them, the environment itself is quite, needs to be quite conducive for us to bring up our dogs as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. And also something else is mental health. Yeah, yeah. So um, Dr. Obef has actually has three pillars. Yeah, so one of them is animal welfare awareness. The other one is mental health and environmental cons conservation. So with these three pillars, we, you know, after realizing that this is something that is bigger, we actually realize that we can actually get to talk about our dogs and tell people that, you know, these dogs, actually, when you treat them well, you can get to train them this well, and you can get to leave them live with them this well, and they can be your uh, close aides, close partners, and basically you can live with them nicely. The other thing is you can relieve stress out of being with a dog. So mental health come, came about. And uh, even through our event, when you come to our event, you get to interact with dogs, pet them. Actually, petting is one of the main, um, um, I, I can say activities that you use to relieve stress. So when you just go and pet a dog, it releases some, uh, do you call them enzymes? Endorphins. <laughs> Endorphins, yeah, yeah. And you get to feel nice. And then uh, environmental conservation is because we realize that we all need each other. We all need each other as human beings, as animals. And so uh, in October, we actually have, have a tree planting activity that is usually ha happen it happens after the festival. So this year, is, it's going to be on the 14th of October in Mathare. And we involve uh, the community. We involve every, anyone who wants to come on board to just share the love, plant trees, get to know about each other, the environment, what we can do for each other. Mm. So that's how it, it came about. OK. Well, yeah. here we are now, year nine. I know. So next year, <laughs> 10 years, I don't know what's yeah. going to happen then. <laughs> All the best. Thank you. I don't know what people will expect. You know, 10 years is such a long time. Uh, yeah. Roy, I want to ask you, you know, when you're walking around, let me get that mic real quick. So you're walking around. Do you get people stopping you to take pictures, to try and pet it? as? I was saying. Uh, I always try and take advantage of that. Yeah. Uh, oh. Since it's a big dog, yeah. people assume he's uh, a little bit uh, not friendly. Mm. But uh, I take advantage of people wanting to pet him uh, so that he becomes more social. The same way Amu has, has said, like the more you take the dog for walks, the more he's socialized, the more he's interacting with his environment, the better the dog is. Yeah. Like right now, we've been here, he's calm, he's polite. He's uh, very good. He's, he's, he's feeling the space. He's mm. enjoying himself. He's, he's relaxed. Yeah. He's relaxed. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. Barava is former Mr. Doctoberfest. Oh. Yeah, so in our festival, you have co categories of competitions. Yeah. One of them is Mr. Doctoberfest, Miss Doctoberfest, Most Obedient Dog, actually. Uh, look at it. look if you could see the intensity <laughs> yeah. that Tinka is looking at the owner just in case it wants to give him like an instruction. Yeah. And he's like he's his every move. Yeah. This is you don't want to mess with him. <laughs> Let me tell you. Eh mtu mwenye ana communicate na umeona osoro. Ana muita kutoka kwa hao. Like it's wild to me. It's wild. No. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, so we have uh Miss October first we have most obedient dog we have best dressed dog. We have we have a special category for the Kenyan Shepherd dog, uh, commonly known as Bosco Tasca. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, one thing that people don't actually know about those dogs is that they are very they are one of the most awesome breeds to have, and uh, we are very I mean special as a country to just uh, explore them. And so we made a special category for them. And if you have uh, your dog with you, please. Don't hesitate to come into those categories. It's free to sign up, uh, but of course you pay for entrance. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. You yeah. mentioned there are so many other categories. Yes. Um, which are the other categories? Okay. Well, so some, some that you can mention. So the, uh, amongst uh, the ones that I've mentioned, we also have a small breed race, large breed race. Then we have um, best. Uh, dressed. But yes, Sylvia. Anna, Anna. <laughs> She's uh, literally Anita. telling you all of them one by one. I'm on, I'm on. No, so we have uh, the small breed race, the large breed race. We have uh, dog and owner lookalike competition. What? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Okay. Master and dog lookalike. Yeah. So you can imagine the them dressing up and looking 
Yeah. Like twins. Yes. Yeah, so we have Mr. Doctoberfest, Miss Doctoberfest, and now the special category for mm. our local breed. They're actually called the Kenyan Shepherds. The Kenyan Shepherds. Yeah. Yeah, we've, uh, and we've actually this year introduced another category, which is the best rescue dog. So we've, uh, as generally in our community, there are a lot of stray dogs in the community. And so these uh, dogs are usually rescued by individuals, by organizations like KSPCA, who we work with very closely. And so we decided to put up a category for best rescue, which is actually sponsored by KSPCA as well. That's nice. Yeah, so if uh, you've rescued a dog, treated it well, and uh, you feel like you, you can actually come to this category, we'll definitely see you and we'll award. Ukiona uh, umbwa, si kama vile osoro alisema ti, unashika mawe. Usishike mawe. Usishike mawe tafadhali. Just know that that's an animal. It feels just the same way you feel. Uh, it hurts just the same way you hurt. You know, hurt. Mm. You know. <laughs> I mean, I see it. Yeah, so yeah, that's, that's, that's what's up with us. Oh, I like that. Yeah. A dog's tail never lies. It never lies. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's true. Mm -hmm. They're not as manipulative as humans. So, star, star. Star is so hidden. Star is asleep. Star, star, Melala. Star is like any sangapi. Where have you guys it's taken me? It's past bedtime. Now, who knew I'd be? Past bedtime. Look at how cute and tiny <laughs> yeah, in comparison. Yeah. We should just keep them together. Mugo, let me just um, let's. I want to see Star right oh. next to for the camera. I want the I want the people at home to see the difference in size. <laughs> Sylvia. Look at how cute. That's three months apart. Yeah, it's, just three it's just three, three months. months. Yeah, it's just three months yeah. apart. Okay, making beer. It's just like, nah. They <laughs> yeah. don't pay me enough for this. They do I know. <laughs> so do you think if I give Tinga an, a command, do you think it would follow the instruction I would give him? Um, no. Uh, Tinga is my personal dog, so actually he's supposed to take commands from me, but he also takes commands from my family members. Yeah. So, but not everybody. But that's because you've... Uh, that's how made sure that they know yeah, yeah. that he knows that this is family. So there's nothing I could say that it would. Uh, not really. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Even the same words you would say. <laughs> you you can try, but but uh, but I know it's it's not easy. Marine, you me, bro. You know. Stop. Has it ever I, I, rescued you from a fight or from burglars or from just any kind of dangerous situation? Um, there's one time uh, my car stalled somewhere. Um, it was um, a, a place that there was nobody around, and um, so I had to sleep there. But mm. I had him, so I was okay. So at some, some time there, in the middle of the night, someone tried to come, uh, but Tinga, I was asleep, but Tinga woke up, chased the person away, and uh, nobody came around. So I'm very conf confident when I'm with him, because yeah. I know he'll, he'll always protect me. Even I am confident around Tinga. Yeah. <laughs> you know the way you just know he's got your back. You like I know, yeah. man. Yeah, can you really imagine as a chick back. walking around yeah. with yeah. the two of them, two yeah. Tingas? Yeah. You're like, try but, me, please. But Barava is for the looks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Vibes, vibes, and looks. Vibes and looks. <laughs> are, 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 are they chick? Zena. Are they chick magnets? I, uh, they are people magnets. <laughs> They're people magnets. <laughs> so not chicks, no, Roy. People magnet. People magnet. Yeah. Okay, so both guys and chicks. Yeah. Okay, yeah, for the pictures and just to ask questions. Well, yeah. details of the event, we have the poster. We have put it up on screen. Um, so please do come through if you love, if you love dogs. If yeah. you love dogs, Down. you have family and friends who love them, there yeah. they are. Uh, there is the event for you yeah. and, your, and your pup. And you just come. You, do, you don't have to participate, but they just come. It's like an uh, uh, like a dog's day out. You yeah, know? they don't get exactly. a lot of holidays. And exactly. This is theirs. This, this is, is theirs. The, this is their Christmas. Yeah. Exactly. Okay? That's and when the you go there, if you're looking for anything pet related, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to only be dogs. If it's pet related, you're looking for uh, you know just something for your cat. You're looking for Amina. Yes, Osoro. so all women to bring their men out as well. That's what we're trying to say. <laughs> that is what the long and the short of it is true. That they yeah, are just coming with your people. By there, Amina, yeah? we also have, um, we not only have activities for dogs, we actually have, it's a whole realm. So we have activities for adults as well. So we're going to have a play area for adults. We're also going to have a play area for kids as well. Mm -hmm. So if you want to just come and un unwind yourself, have fun, 
Um, if you have a dog and you want to unwind, we also have handlers on site. So you can leave your dog with the handler, go have fun, come back, chill, music, uh, good food, good food mm. vibes. And it's, yeah. just, it's just a day for you to just come, chill, relax, and you don't have to have a dog to come. Yeah. You can come and just enjoy the view, enjoy interacting and networking. So it's a full, nice or something. Yeah. We're going to have a pool as well. Like a, you know, like a pool. Our Africa, pool. we don't swim. A pool, a pool for dogs, a pool for people, for kids. I don't know. Kenyans so at these pool parties, they never really <laughs> enter the water. We're just walking around. Vibes, vibes. So we have to take a quick break, but yeah. you wanted to say something? The important part is we'll have our vets on board. So we'll have small five, we'll have noble vet. So it's a day that for you to come and interact with your vets, mm. get to talk to them, get to ask any question that you need, and understand your pets much better. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm scared of dogs. Honestly, I am. <laughs> but then the one thing I cannot deny is that there are so many people who are even watching right now who absolutely love dogs, yeah. who have grown up with dogs, who dogs just do a lot more for them than I would really understand, mm -hmm. given that we didn't have pets. And I hope that there would be more dog-friendly parks and, you know, spaces in different malls that they could... I just know <laughs> that it would mean a lot to them and their pups, right? Yeah, yeah, if they true, would have a place true, to go. True, so, true, Urupak, true. Uh, I'm well hopefully, Yeah, I know. Ilakiru, Ilakiru. I know, I know. Uh, but yeah, so, I, I wish we could talk more. There's a lot more I wanted to say like for example they eat a kg of meat every day which i find so impressive because <laughs> in this economy <laughs> i don't know but thank you so much you guys thank you thank so you much uh, you purchase your us. tickets purchase your tickets and let's yes. see you then at the yes. october fest happening uh later this next month on the 8th sunday the 8th, 8th of october yes, oh, that's next week on sunday yes so come through all right so we have to take a quick break more coming up right after this i wish i could play with